So the next thing we're going to be doing is basically finding the zeros or determine the zeros. So as you guys remember, the zeros, as I wrote, is f of x is equal to 0. So just like we did on our focus lesson, we are going to replace f of x with 0. However, unlike our focus lesson, in the focus lesson, I was very nice to you. I provided you with an equation that was in factored form, right? Expression times expression times expression. Now I'm the mean teacher, and I'm giving it to you in a standard form. So what we have to practice today is going from our standard form to our factored form. Okay. Um, first thing we always want to do is see if we have any common factors between all of our terms. And we have x. So you guys can say 0 equals x times x squared minus x minus 6. Again, as I mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, factoring is going to be one of those skills we're going to be using over and over and over again. Um, basically, when you have a quadratic here with 1 in the front, I'm looking for what two numbers multiply to give me x, or negative 6 max, but then add to give me a negative 1. Correct? Um, I am going to also go back and talk about, um, I don't think actually your homework has multiplicity. We should get practice at that, though. Oh, you guys get lucked off. All right, so we're not going to worry about multiplicity for these types of problems. But then, now we're going to go ahead and solve by the process of zero product property. Remember, when you have the product of terms or expressions that's equal to 1, you can now set them all equal to 0 to solve for your zeros. Then we just go and solve. This one's already solved. Here, add 3, minus 2, minus 2. x equals 3. x equals negative 2. You guys might see, and actually I would prefer sometimes for you guys to be able to write your solutions as a solution set. The zeros, or the solutions that make this equation true, are 0. Oops, let's go ahead and write in order. Are negative 2, 0, and 3. Do you guys see what I did, at least? All I simply did was just take each 0 and write it as a set of numbers. Okay? It's called the solution set. So you don't always have the 0 because it has to equal 2? Yeah. Because this is equal to 0. Yes? If that, if that was like x squared, mm -hmm. then yes, there would be an even multiplicity. Mm -hmm. But we're. You guys don't. You guys get a little bit off the hook on your homework. Um, I only talk.